here we're going to have chapter 7, part 2. Again, the same rules apply to the outlined image of colors. Um, we're first going to go over the prostaglandins here. The prostaglandin analogs consist of zalatan and travitan, and these increase uveal scleral outflow, typically by about 50% by um, causing adjustment in the ciliary body phase. Um, there are also similar medications called the hypotensive lipids. These include Lumigan and Rescula, Obamatoprost and uh, Noprostone. And the effect of these prostaglandin, um, or the effect of these medications on the prostaglandin F receptor remains somewhat controversial. Uh, Lumigan can increase the uveal scleral outflow by up to 50%, and it also increases uh, trabecular outflow by 25 to 30%. Unoprostone or Rescula, which is no longer available, just increases the trabecular outflow only. Uh, Zalatan and Travitan, now it's Travitan Z, are basically prodrugs that become available after uh, hydrolysis by the corneal esterases. Uh, they can reduce IOP by 25 to 30 percent. Lumigan is not a prodrug. Um, that can decrease IOP by 27 to 33 percent. Uh, Rescula, again, is not a prodrug, and it decreases pressure 13 to 18 percent. The side effects of all the prostaglandin analogs are generally similar. You can get darkening of the periocular skin. Um, this is due to increased numbers of melanosomes within the melanocytes. It's not due to increase in the numbers of melanocytes. It's due, due to increase in the number of melanosomes. It occurs more commonly in eyes with some pigmentation at baseline. So, uh, generally, uh, you have some pigment like hazel or green colored eyes, uh, you can have this increased pigmentation in up to 60% of cases. In blue eyes, it's probably 10 to 20%. You can also get conjunctival hyperemia, thickening and lengthening of the eyelashes. You can also develop other side effects such as CMA. That happens most commonly in patients with open posterior capsules, uveitis, or exacerbation of HSV keratitis. And here we see images uh, very nicely uh, a little bit of periocular uh, darkening on this side compared to the other, darker pupil compared to the other side, a darker iris, um, and that's more evident in photos down below where you can really see the discrepancy in the color, as well as the conjunctival hyperemia typically associated with the prostaglandin analogs. And here you have a nice example of prostaglandin eyelashes where the drug, is made, where the drug medication is used on the uh, right eye. We also have combined medications uh, on the market now. Uh, these include COSOPT and COMBAGAN. COSOPT is a combination of timolol and dorzolamide. COMBAGAN is a uh, combination of timolol and bromonidine. Um, the benefits of these uh, drugs are basically uh, improved compliance, sometimes an improvement in cost and convenience to the patient. Uh, but typically, you generally don't start with a double agent like this. You usually still begin treatment with single agents or single medications with monocular trials to make sure that each uh, medication is effective in lowering the IOP. Once patients are on two of these uh, medications, frequently the combination drops off a lot. Hyperosmotic agents uh, are typically used to acutely uh, control or lower uh, marked IOP.